I'm using Y for this tutorial, I modeled it recently and the process video will be out on the channel next week. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you won't miss it. Let's get into it. In the shading tab select your model and make a new material. Shift A and add image texture. But before you add any color go to edit, preference and in the interface put the color picker type on square so we can get that nice photoshop color picker in blender. The default one is disgusting, get rid of it. You trash Brock. Back in shading tab, click on new. Make sure you have high resolution, then choose a skin tone, maybe something like this, and press ok. Then connect it to the base color. Before I start painting, I went ahead and found a good scene in the show where character is in a good lighting condition, then made a color palette in photoshop, but it's not necessary, you can just bring the screenshot and take colors from it. In the texture paint tab, hover your mouse to the bottom left corner and drag it out to the top. Make sure it's on image editor, then open your image here. Then in the view, turn off display UVs so we can only see our image. Now we can pick our colors from this image. Hover your mouse to the color picker on top and press E. Now you can click whatever you want and it would pick the colors. Easy. I bring down the strength and start painting the nose with the second color on my palette. I have the reference photo by my side and I paint whatever I see. Make sure you do yours. If your PC is lagging, just turn down the multi res to make the model lighter. As you can see the eye area is much darker. So I started painting those areas with darker color. Make sure you're painting on a lower strength and build up the colors little by little so you have control over the amount of shadows and highlights. We also have some darker colors on the cheeks and the bottom of the mouth. Don't worry about it being too rough because we can smooth out the edges later on. At the next stage lower the size of the brush and start painting the smaller details like the parts close to the eyes and also the upper and lower eyelid to make a good contrast between the shadows and highlights. Make sure you get the parts on the nose and maybe some fake shadows on the nostrils. It might be ugly for now but as we smooth out the rough edges and add the makeup it gets better. Choosing red color with low strength, I put some light red color on the whole face to give it more life. Also don't forget to paint the ears as well. When you're done with the shadows, pick a lighter color and highlight the parts that are more exposed to the sun like the nose and the cheeks. Also if you think you went too far with the shadows, just lighten them up a bit with the same light color. If you got these weird ugly paints on the neck, just pick up a smear brush and smooth them out till they disappear. Using the same brush, go ahead and smooth out the rough paints on the face but make sure you do it with the smaller brush size so you won't fade it all out. As you can tell by the reference, the rough paints are the ones making the arcing character so artistic. So don't smooth it out too much. Then go around the model and just add shadows to the less exposed areas just like we did with the face. When you're done, add a bit of red color to the lips. Zoom in and using a small brush, add some darker red lines to the lips for the cracks. Now it's time to add the makeups. Pick up a dark color and take care of the eyeliner. Then using a smear brush, clean up the skin a bit more. After adding eyebrows, you see it looks fairly decent. For the freckles, find a good PNG freckles on Google and download it. Go to texture properties and open the PNG. And in the tool section, under the texture, put the mapping on stencil. Then move it around and project the freckles onto the face. Now, the final stage, we can add wounds and scratches on the face, or maybe tattoos. You can also paint it on another layer, so it wouldn't affect the main layer. If you don't know how, I put the tutorial on the top right corner. And that is it. If it was helpful, leave a like and maybe subscribe, and I'll see you next week.